What's up, my lovely jewels and gems? It's your girl, Nettie Net, and I'm back. This needs to be addressed. First of all, I think it is totally rude, ignorant, and very immature for people to confront people on YouTube and say they're wrong in places, judge them in areas where they're not. Now, of course I've been keeping up and I've been watching this whole situation between Reva and T and K. Okay. Reva, you messed up. It's sad, but true. When you wanted to give them a shout out, people take it to the head. They didn't take it as a compliment. They took it as a way to let people know that you're watching. I know you watch me. Tina's told me plenty of times. But I'm not going to show off. I'm not going to front. I just do me. And I feel like as a grown woman, I try to speak out here and give some of these young kids some knowledge when I feel like they're going through something I've been through. So... When I see somebody gifted, young, and talented, and beautiful, I tried to speak out. What happened, happened. We let that go. But should people be taunted and picked on? No, I don't feel like that. Maybe because I was bullied so bad by the fans that it made me clap back at the wrong person. But maybe the right. At the end of the day, it let people know where I stood and where I could go. But at the same time, it's a respect thing. When people are vloggers and YouTubers, what we're supposed to do is give content. We edit. Sometimes we go straight from the dome uncut i know i do but we can also edit now in this video with baby cj the way it was cut and edited he could have had a conversation with his mother prior to the prank calls more than likely did when queen picked up the phone you could clearly tell she knew it was her baby but her reaction to it was to make him think she didn't know who it was. Let me hang up on him. He knows what people do on the phone. They do it all the time. They've been doing it since he's been born. Am I trying to get clout? No. I'm just speaking like I said. I speak from the heart. And when I speak out, I've been more so a Stan fan of Baby CJ. Why? Because I stand for the children. If we don't get it together to represent ourselves as better in their eyes, how are they going to get it to be together? Do I feel like someone like Queen is a good mother? She's a good mother. I just don't feel the motherhood is what I said for those who want to quote me when I say that meaning she has other things to do other plans in life that come first most people that have that motherly instinct you do not separate yourself from your child not for too long back then at two Y'all knew I wasn't wrong, but we're going to let that go. As of now, he's older. He understands he's either with grandma or you're with your dad or you're with your mom. But you know what your mom's lifestyle consists of. Do I believe grandma when she says he does not like the camera? I totally do because my son these days, he can tell me at any time, 
No, I don't want them to see me eating. No, I don't want to get vlogged right now. No, you're on YouTube too much. And I feel like, am I really? And I'm not. Not half as much time as some other people. It can ruin your child's life at the end of the day. To keep on putting them out there, up there for people to see, talk about, like I told y'all before. I was a Stan fan of his. So the stuff that was being put out there was not meant for him to see later. He's going to see it later. She's asking, should he go to a private school or should he go to a public school? And in my personal opinion, I will keep my baby private. Because there's too much out here in this world that he will be exposed to. Mainly because of what's on the internet and being judged that it would hurt him more. Do I feel like kids should be in public schools? Yes, I do. But when you're in the public eye, it's kind of hard. People will stalk, stalk him. You know, everybody will want to be his friends but not real friends. We know how that goes where people play to be your friend because of who you are and they're not real friends you know what i'm saying a real friend is with you to the end through thick through thin through sad through happy not only when you're happy or you can do something for them or make them feel good in some type of way i always wonder why my mom didn't call too many people friends she loved family but, excuse my French, she didn't fuck the family too much. Because when she had a seizure and fell on the ground many of these, at least two, three times a month, there was no one there. Not the day. Not the day after. Not the day after that. Not calling to say, how are you? Or can I do a thing for you it was more so let's wait a week until she can get herself together or when her check comes let's give her a call so i can borrow something because i need that's what it was about that's what her life was about that's how people looked at her that's how people treated her when i look at it in a way kind of glad i'm poor because if I had money or if I was rich, I'd be probably suffering because I see so many people hurt. I see so many people down and I feel like I can just be that helping hand to reach out and touch someone at all times. And I shouldn't feel that way, but that's just my heart because that's, that was Jules's heart. When I see a loving person, I see a loving person. If I have to stand up here and say, I do apologize. I do apologize to Reva for saying that you messed up on raising all your kids. Now, that was just something said out of anger because of what I've seen demonstrated on the Internet and in the social media. I we can go back to the tub video. We can go back to the just exposing ourselves on camera to not act like we don't need to go there. But we going I am going to shout out India's Beats, capital N, capital D E A, B E A T Z. Go check her out because she kind of like went back from. The, she ain't go too far back as far as back as I can go. But see, I'm not a editor like that but i can show y'all more than i can tell y'all so i'm sure people aren't interested but if y'all are we can go back i can get the green screen up and popping and we can go back and i can explain to y'all make it funny though the parts and angles that i seen not nothing too bad but the fact that i seen a young woman who was married that I felt should have stayed there and tried to work things out. But just in the nick of time did I find out what was going on in her life. So I had no right to judge. But at the same time, I was giving my opinion to what I saw.
I saw a young lady running off to New York too quick, too fast to stay in a hotel with a man that she said or claimed she didn't know. Now we're finding out she knew him a little more than we knew. So, how was I wrong? I, I'm still questioning that. And I would like for someone to answer. But, you know, certain people don't answer your questions. So, it's not going to get answered. But, I mean, since y'all stand fans out there know everything. And y'all still want to come in my inbox and call me this and call me that. And I can't like something on Instagram. Let me tell y'all something. I'm a grown woman. I'm going to do and say what I want, when I want, how I want, and feel how I want. Nobody's going to tell me anything. So, exit the stage to the left, please. If y'all don't like what I have to say, just don't listen. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, I have not a hatred in the world for not a soul. My heart is too caring and too loving that's just how I was born and raised. All I say is I just see things and I feel like I should speak out when I feel like someone's going through something or something I've seen someone going through. Said this blah, 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 blah. For the young ones who don't understand, y'all will understand later. For the old ones who do understand, I know y'all feel me. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, because I know y'all feel me, you know what I'm saying? Really, at the end of the day, we're all black people out here, and there's enough out here for all of us. We do not have to stand here and stomp on someone like they're a roach on the floor. Just because it's going to get your mortgage paid or your rent paid. You know, I, 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 I hate when I see someone coming up and doing better. I like that part. But when I start seeing them throwing shots, bullets, darts, whatever you want to call it, at people... Just because they say, oh, yeah, it's business. The business is to slander people, to belittle people, to be lower people. Ah, uh, nah, that's not, that's not how it's supposed to go. I know it makes the young kids want to watch. It's what they want to hear. But at our age, we should be teaching them what we've been through. And that's what I've been out here trying to talk about and speak about. What we've been through. What we've been through. We've all been through something. We all have a story to tell. That's why on here I tell my stories. Not because I want someone to pay me for it but because i want someone to be aware and alert of what can happen the stuff that's lurking out here when people are walking down the streets and they're just grabbing people's kids and taking them and locking them up in cages or locking them up in basements 25 years ago one of my little cousins got locked up in someone's basement in philly and she was about eight years old i don't even know the whole story but it had to do with some thing with drugs someone wanted something to do with her dad and they took his daughter but she was lucky by god she got out and escaped out the window i put my right hand up to god if i can find a story i'll bring it back up but this happened it's true it's real it happens all day every day to someone's child so while we're out here arguing and trying to belittle each other, why don't we put a hand in and join forces to be together to do better, to help people who are losing their children to the streets, pretty much. Because once they're in someone's hands, 
you never know where they'll end up. On the streets or in the river. And that's just real, true talk. Once again, always keep God first. Love yourselves. Because if you don't love yourself, it makes it much harder to love others. How much simpler can we make it?